Return pass, hair barrel layup, backdoor cut, oh my gracious sakes alive. They're cutting up this defense, folks, of Oklahoma. Some people still think that they know, but no, he knows the code. Frank Young for a long three. Oh, there's a dagger. And the West Virginia University Mountaineers have come into Oklahoma City, and they have knocked off the number seven rated Sooners of Oklahoma, 92 to 68. I'm still even in starstruck, humble through opportunities given despite the fact that many misjudge him because he makes a living from writing rats. Put it together himself, got a picture connects. Never asking for someone's help, but to get some respect. He's only focused on what he wrote, his will is beyond reach. And now it all unfolds, the skill of an artist. This is 20% skill. There's no team quite like the way West Virginia plays the game. Well orchestrated, beautiful sets on offense. You don't guard the three, they'll shoot it. If you come out too far, they'll back up. They just play their game no matter what. This dude is the truth. Now everybody giving them guest spots. Young, backdoor cut, fancy. Two headed slams. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain. The West Virginia University Mountaineers have come into Philadelphia and they have knocked off the number three rated Villanova Wildcats in an all-time classic rally from 15 points down to win it 91 to 87. It is a great day to be a Mountaineer wherever you may be. He's not your everyday on the block. He knows how to work with wood. He's got making his way to the top. He often gets a comment on his name. People keep asking him, was it given that birth that doesn't stand for an act? But no, he's living proof. Down the floor, pitch line off, and he dunks it. Oh, baby, did he dunks it. Him and his crew are known around as one of the best. Dedicated to what they do and give 100%. Forget Mike. Nobody really knows how or why he works so hard. It seems like he's never got time because he writes oh, away. And I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind. It's like a design. Gonna try a long three. It's up. Before he even touches a key or speaks in a rhyme. And those other fellas he runs with the kids that he signed. Ridiculous. Without even trying. How do they do it? This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% player Mike Ganzi is and what a difficult team West Virginia is to play. This is what West Virginia does. They force turnovers and they capitalize. And the West Virginia University Mountaineers have come into the nation's capital and they've rallied from an eight-point halftime deficit to finish off a season sweep over the Georgetown Hoyas. Turnaround jump hook up off the back iron. No rebound, Frank Young, and a crowd bounces to Pitsnagel. Layup, good! West Virginia with a dominating first half performance. Jumper up off glass, it is good for two. Gansey is really stroking the ball with confidence. Shot clock at 13, gonna try a straightaway three. How about a bingo? Patty B. Pitsnagel, great pass by Joe Irvin. The ball hit no. the rim, and they didn't set the shot clock. Gansey going to try a three. Oh, what a shot by Gansey. Watched by Gansey. Gansey stole the ball from Farmer. And the West Virginia University Mountaineers have come into Pauley Pavilion, and they have knocked off the UCLA Bruins. <laughs> Batted and it's controlled by Patrick Beeline in the backcourt. Then we are underway. West Virginia pit for the 170th time. I like the way you move. He hit another one. Joe Herbert on seniors night gets the Mountaineers an 8 to nothing lead. You fall asleep for one second on West Virginia. They're going to burn you with a three. They get the ball into Herbert. Herbert racing down the floor. Uncontested. Goes in for the layup. It is good. And the West Virginia University Mountaineers have
secured third place in the Big East Conference with a victory over the number nine rated Pitt Panthers. And it is a great night to be a Mountaineer wherever you may be. Most of all, I like the way you move. Gansey driving down the floor. Gansey bounces. J.D. layup. Good. West Virginia scores eight in a row. There's so many ways that they push it and kick it back. You just can't get out fast enough. And so many weapons out there. He got it! The freshman, Alex, threw off with a big three. Wow. They bite you with that fast break. Just a terrific passing team. They find the open man, especially when that open man is stepping into his shot for a three-pointer. Two seconds, one second. Nichols from midcourt at the horn. It's up, and it's good! Oh, Nichols dropping a dime with the kiss! Gandy, how about another three? Got it! Well, they are having fun right now. They did it with a 1-3-1 one, one, and three-point bombs. West Virginia on its way to the Sweet 16 for the second consecutive year. West Virginia a winner. I like the way you move. Let's work real, real hard. You worked so hard yesterday. It was incredible coming off a tough loss, how hard you worked. We need that again. We never will not practice hard, so get used to it. Good cut. Good job. Good. Box out. Let's go. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Make plays, not mistakes. Advance it, advance it, advance it, pitch it! The finalist for the John Wooden and Smith Award, number 34, Kevin Hitznoggle! A two-time Academic All-American, number five, Joe of the gold medal World University Games team, number 20, Mike Genzi. A four-year letterman who ranks eighth in career assists at WVU, number one, J.D. Collins. A four-year letterman for the Mountaineers who broke the WVU school record for career three-point field goals, number three, Patrick Eli.